we're going to do three examples of using elementary row operations to solve a system of two equations in two variables. We're basically using Gauss-Jordan or Gaussian elimination in these problems, but I'm saying just elementary row operations because we're technically not going to have to fully complete the process of Gaussian or Gauss-Jordan elimination to solve these problems. It's a little bit easier than that. In these examples, we'll see the full set of possibilities. So one example will have one solution, one example will have infinitely many solutions, and another example will have no solutions. Let's begin with this first problem. We've got these two equations in x and y, and we begin by representing the system with an augmented matrix. The coefficients of x are in column 1, and the coefficients of y are in column 2. Separated from the coefficients, we have the constants, 4 and 2. Now we'll perform elementary row operations to reduce this matrix. We could try to use row 1 to eliminate row 2, but then we would have to deal with fractions. So it'll be a little easier to subtract two copies of row 2 from row 1. Thus, we have 2 minus 2 times 1, which is 0, 1 minus 2 times negative 1, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3, and 4 minus 2 times 2, which is 0. Now we have 0 as a leading entry. We'd really rather have 1 up there, so let's swap rows 1 and 2. That gets us to this matrix here. We would like this 3 to be a leading 1, so let's multiply row 2 by 1 third. That gets us here, and in this case we actually have now completed Gaussian elimination. And that is sufficient to solve this system. From row 2, we have that 1y is equal to 0. And from row 1, we have that x minus y is equal to 2. Then, of course, because y is equal to 0, x must equal 2, since x minus 0 must equal 2. So this system has exactly one solution, x equals 2, y equals 0. This system represents two lines that intersect at a single point. Let's move on to the second example. We have this system of two equations in two unknowns, and here is the augmented matrix. In column 1, we have the coefficients of x. In column 2, we have the coefficients of y. And separated from those coefficients, we have the constants. Let's solve the system using some elementary row operations. This one is actually really easy. We may begin by adding two copies of row 1 to row 2. That way, we get a 0 below this leading. 1. We'd have negative 2 plus 2 times 1, which is 0, 2 plus 2 times negative 1, which is 0, and 4 plus 2 times 3, which is 10. Now, we have zeros as coefficients in a particular row, and a non-zero number as a constant. This immediately implies a contradiction, because from row 2, we have that 0x plus 0y equals 10, which means that 0 equals 10. There, of course, is no value for x and y that would make this true, so this system has no solution. This system consists of two parallel lines that never intersect. Now, here is our final example. This is our system. We immediately write it as an augmented matrix, and then we'll begin to perform row operations. Again, we could try to use row 1 to eliminate this leading one in row 2, but that would require some fractions, so it's probably easier to just turn the Four into a zero by subtracting four copies of row two from row one. Doing that, we would have four minus four times one, which is zero, then 12 minus four times three, which is zero, and then eight minus four times two, which is zero. We then arrive at this matrix. If we were specifically trying to do Gaussian or Gauss-Jordan elimination, we would want to swap these rows so that we have these zeros at the bottom of the matrix. But as for solving the system, that doesn't really matter. We are pretty much done. From row two, we have that 1x plus 3y equals 2. We can solve this for that leading variable x by subtracting 3y from both sides. Thus, we have x equals 2 minus 3y. So in fact, any point on this line, x equals 2 minus 3y, would be a solution to this system. When we describe the solution like this, y is the independent or what we call a free variable. It's free to be whatever it chooses, and x can be calculated accordingly. It's typical in linear algebra 
breadth that we will assign free variables to arbitrary parameters. So we may say, let y equal t. t can be whatever it likes, that tells us what y is, and then we can use that to calculate x. So we could say that the solution to this system is any point of this form. 2 minus 3t, that's directly from that equation with x, but replacing y with t, and t. So x equals that, y equals that. There are infinitely many solutions all lying on this line. That's because this system just consists of two lines that are exactly the same, so they intersect everywhere. So those are all the possibilities you could encounter when using matrices to solve a system of two equations in two unknowns. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to videos and extra practice, and if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access all of the lecture notes in the course. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm 